Hello, in this video, we'll talk about how you can get 1800 free minutes per month to run your code. That code could be in GitHub or Bitbucket or Azure repos, right? So you must be having many repos. Let's say you have 20 repos in your GitHub profile, but are you running them daily? Right. So let's see that how you can get those minutes and you can utilize it. So let's begin. So let's understand that whether you need those 1800 minutes from Microsoft in their Azure cloud or not. Right. So when you run your program or automation in the local, what do you need? You need these things, right? You need IntelliJ or Eclipse or you use Visual Studio code. And apart from that, you need the programming language to be installed in your systems, Java, C Sharp, Python, or any other that you are using apart from that. You also use some uh, build agents like Maven and you run locally a command called as MVN test, right? By which you can run it without using this IntelliJ. And all of this is kept in a, is installed on something called as an operating system, right? And all of this is part of your laptop or computer you are using where all of this is running. And when you want to run this code, in an unattended manner, right? You use softwares like Jenkins, sometimes which also you run on your system and your laptop has to be switched on, right? And to run this, if you want to run locally, there is an another alternative. How about if all of this is running on a remote computer, right? And then you need not to have your laptop on, right? And how about if all these softwares are already installed there? and they are all always updated. So this facility is provided by Microsoft by providing you something called as agents. Okay, they give you agent, the agent could be, you can tell that I want a Windows agent or I want a Linux agent, which could be an Ubuntu one. And this agent will already be having Java installed, right? Or Maven also installed and browsers also are installed in this, right? I missed to mention browsers here but you need to have browsers also installed if you are running Selenium and all those code, right? So all of this is installed here. Now, if you see, this is a hardware, right? There is a hardware which where all of this is installed and for hardware, there is a cost involved. Either you buy a new, new computer and keep it on and run always, or you can have this in cloud. Okay, so Microsoft gives one such agent to you Okay, which will give you 1800 minutes per month. Okay, so you can use this agent, right, where you can run your code and it's free up to 1800 minutes per month. So in your GitHub repo, let's say there are 20 repositories are there, right? So if you use it daily for 60 minutes, you can at least use it for a month, right? So let me show you an example as well, like what and why you will do this. So if you see this, this is a old code of mine, right? So where with the recent version of Selenium, we don't need this, right? But since I'm not running this Selenium repo on a daily basis, because I'll have to ch check out this code and run this and then check it out, whether this code is outdated or not, whether it's working with the latest Selenium version or not. What if let's say I have 10 repos and they are running, let's say bi-weekly and automatically and also suppose I start getting email as well. Okay, that my build ran or failed and how is it behaving, whether all the tests are fine or not. Okay, I might have written code for a sample website, right, demo website, but now somebody has changed that demo website. So my task test will start failing, right? So how would I know that? So uh, Microsoft gives you that agent by which you can run this code how you can run this, I'll cover it in the next video, but let's get those 1800 minutes first because then only you will be unable to able to use those things. Okay. So we need this agent that I talked about, which gives this facility. Okay. That so that you have these 1800 minutes, then in the next video, we'll see that how you can have your GitHub and all code running using this minimum, you just minimal thing. If you if people who are doing already automation and they are creating pipelines, they would be aware about this. So you just have to create a YAML pipeline, which will already put, which will pull your code 
and you can even put schedules right so every day 10 pm your code will be run and you will get an email that how many pass fail and what is the status of the build okay so let's see that how you can do that so this is my channel and there is a playlist that we are doing right azure devops playlist so this is a series we are covering so to have that firstly you have to create a azure devops account which you can learn from here it's very simple you can play this video in 2x and you will be having an account right and you can set up an organization right that, that does not take much time it's like gmail sign up thing Right. So once you are done with these two things, if you already have some uh, code with you, it's good. You can directly follow this video or otherwise you can create a code and check into Azure repos following this. Right. To directly do it from GitHub, we'll cover in upcoming videos. But if you will cover this, it would be good and you will be having an account. So where you will land in that case. So after you do that, you will have a organization for example i have created an organization with kurana gaurav and there is a project called as automation so one organization can have multiple projects right there could be various projects running under an organization so that's how they have built and if you see i have already got one free tire right so i have already got this 1800 minutes when you will open it will be shown as zero so how you can uh, you make it like one over here that i am getting so if you see when I run my first code in the pipeline, right, we'll cover all of this in the upcoming videos. You will see that I got an error that I don't have, uh, I don't have purchased any parallelism. So this is the form. I will share the link of this form in the description of this video, right? So you can open this link. This link will open like this. Okay. Then you can uh, put your name over here, your email ID by which you have signed up, which you can see here in your profile, right? And the organization name and whether you want private or public, right? So better select private because uh, for public, it will ask you that, okay, if you want to build, uh, let's say Selenium project or Selenide or any other project, then you have to give some reasoning. For now, you can select private, you can select public as well, but better to select private here, right? Because with public, I'm not sure whether they will approve, they might approve but you can maybe apply for both of them by opening this form twice. Once you do that, you will get an email like this, right? Within 48 hours, within two days, you will get this email, right? So where my name is written, the email ID and this, and it's written that my request is completed, right? So that means I have successfully got the 1800 minutes, which I showed you over there as well. Right now, how to utilize this minutes, right? I will show you a latest pipeline which ran successfully, right? So here, if you see that one of my, uh, the, the test that I wrote, they ran successfully. I can see them here. Okay, so I wrote in the previous video, we wrote like open Firefox, Edge, Chrome. So we'll cover this in the next video that how you can run the code. For now, you can fill up this form and create an account and get those 1800 minutes and we'll cover that how uh, you can run your GitHub profiles and all. And if you like this video, you can subscribe to my channel and do comment if you get stuck anywhere. Uh, I will try to help you. Thank you for watching.